Something I think about a lot is, you know that the big short that Michael, I think it's Michael Burry, he says something to the effect of two of the markers of mania are increased complexity and rising cases of fraud. So I'm going to take the way my brain works and, you know, probably not get it right at all what he meant but I'm gonna tell you what I get from it and I think it it totally applies hey everyone this is cast contents I would love it if you would give this video a like and a subscribe I am breaking out like I never especially that one this one I always seem to get a little bit and then this one I'm getting I don't know. I mean, actually, no, I do. That was my holiday food. Anyway, <laughs> when things get too complex, fucking dump them. And that is exactly how our society has become with pretty much everything. Everything. Um, even the whole new, like, vegan food, like, I'm watching this show called The Evolving Vegan, which is great. It's a great show. But it drives me fucking crazy that on this show, people want to eat vegan or people are trying vegan and that's great. And there's nothing wrong with the fact that chefs are making these complicated vegan dishes that, you know, the, these regular people wouldn't know how to make. I wouldn't know how to make these dishes. I wouldn't know where to start. And I was a professional cook who still cooks all the time I wouldn't know how to make these dishes it's fine it's neat it's creative like I love it but people are saying oh I can't be vegan because because I can't make food like that you don't have to fucking make food like that for it to be vegan there are so many vegan cultures around the world that don't use the word vegan or they could be vegan they're mostly vegan but you know sometimes like in the sake of Indian cuisine like Punjabi cuisine it's pretty much vegan but they use a lot of milk because they have cows and they just you know use the milk from the cows otherwise it would be vegan I believe vegan doesn't need to be complicated vegan vegan can be so simple it doesn't need to be ingredients that nobody has access to or wouldn't know how to start using it's simple food. Like, I make vegan all the time using lentils and beans and tofu and things like that. Like, I wouldn't know how to make these things. Things have gotten too fucking complicated. And people buy or, or are buying into it having to be this way and feeling like shit because of it people buying into this belief that their kids have to be in four extracurricular activities at age two for for what to, to be successful at two if you don't know about this I shit you not um people buying into this whole like the mental health thing like it's great you're depressed you have anxiety i suffered with depression most of my life i still work with my anxiety i'm gonna say now like i still have it but i've it's really gotten better in the last few months like a lot but this whole fucking thing like if you have these symptoms you have major depressive disorder if you have these symptoms you have anxiety disorder and you have to anyway I don't want to get into the medication thing that's not my point our lives are not meant to be so complicated and we have to dump the whole thing and go back to basics if if, if we believe that you need a laundry list a mile long in order to do the right things in your day-to-day -day, there's something wrong 
it, it's, it's not the right way to go about life. So whether or not I'm right, I really have no idea. And I tried to find it online, like what exactly did Michael Burry mean in the short when he said this? And then I see all these Reddit posts and I see all this back and forth. I'm like, no, forget it. I'm not going there. I'm just going to take what I think he was saying mania would be marked by rising complexity i think it makes perfect sense i remember when i was a kid and these very wise people in my life they said not to me they said to each other a lot and i think this is so true is people who use a lot of jargon a lot of their university speak their their technical language their all the stuff that they've learned in theory, in books, don't really know what they're talking about. That if you really know what you're talking about, you can put things into simple language all the time. And the smartest person that I know, and it's not me, <laughs> smartest person that I know, he's able to do that. He's able to speak beautifully, clearly, for anyone to be able to understand and he's brilliant he doesn't have to use jargon he does use jargon he does use a lot of technical language but he doesn't have to he's perfectly capable of putting things into plain language anything i'm convinced anything in the world perfectly plain language that anybody could understand because he actually is brilliant if you have to make it too complicated i mean you can again going back to the vegan food i don't want to I don't want to jump on this vegan food because it's really cool. And as a cook, like I'm really interested to learn some of these recipes. Like it's really neat to have them available and to have people doing these things more and more. It's interesting. It's just interesting. Not from an animal welfare <sighs> belief perspective, nothing though. You know, I have those, beliefs but it's just, it's just interesting it's cool but it doesn't have to be that way you can go and be vegan and, and learn kind of some the basic cooking techniques you know the basic way to cook and using beans and lentils and I mean you don't even have to learn that that much because really if you wanted the beans and lentils and all that stuff they can just be in a can you wouldn't even have to, to cook them. But anyway, I'm, I'm rambling as usual. That's all I wanted to say today. I think we need to go back to basics. If your mental health is suffering, again, as mine has, I will say that because people will jump all over you when you talk about depression and anxiety. I've suffered from moderate to severe depression for, at this point, it was still the majority of my life many, many years and anxiety and kind of did tons of things to work through it and therapy and medication for a time and then Eckhart Tolle and meditation and diet and sleep and journal writing and I mean the list is long but you know telling people as I was told when I grew up if you feel like shit go outside for a walk spend more time outside spend more time socializing eat a healthier diet like basic stuff that is good advice I'm I, I'm not saying we should be so simplistic that you know should tell people to take a bath and and their depression will go away they'll feel all better but going back to the basics and thinking you know, using the basics first, I mean, it's it's good advice. It would be a good thing to do because the basics, they often work or they help. Going outside, getting off the fucking computer, having friends again, being out, putting down your phone, it's all good advice. It's good advice. It's helpful, effective advice. Anyway. This is cast contents. Oh, God. Sorry, I don't know. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I'd love it if you give it a like and a subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't know. Teeth. I don't know.